So I've got my player sprite who can run around and pick up these coin sprites, collect coins. That's fine. I want to count how many coins I've collected. Let's do that. So we're going to use a scene variable. A variable is just a way of tracking a value, knowing how many, in this case, coins we've got. So if I right click here and go scene properties, it brings up this with, um, little dialog with an edit scene variables button. So I'm going to edit variable. I'm going to add my first variable, which in this case is going to be coin count. Uh, you, I didn't put spaces in file names. So I, um, it's best not to put spaces in file names. I'm going to give it a default value of zero. Right click here and zero. Apply. So I've now got a variable which can keep track of things. And I'm going to add another event. Remember I had another action actually. When I, I said that when the player is in collision with the coin, we delete the coin. Let's also, under other actions over here, I can go to variables and value of a scene variable coin count is the only one I've got, I can add one to it. And I'll hit play and what we'll see is this actually works but we have no indication of it working. It's actually working behind the scenes, trust me on this. Uh, but let's have it working in front of the scenes as well. So the easiest way to do that is to have a little text thing that displays the value. So I'm going to say text is going to be coin display and initial text will be just a zero. I think it's better if we do that. Apply. We can change its formatting later. Easy enough to do. Top left corner is a good place for it. And what I'm going to do is in the event sheet one more action here. We deleted the coin. We added one to the coin count variable and we're going to for the coin display we're going to modify the text and we're going to set the text to a particular value. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Obviously what I want to put in here is coin count, but it won't let me because that it doesn't see this as being a variable. It is always looking for text here. So what I'm going to use is a function. I've looked this up. It's a variable string. So variable string means take my variable coin count and turn it into a string and when I say string all I mean is it's a string of characters is text so although it will look like a zero a one or two the number is actually the text of that number uh, that should work just trust try that so it starts at zero top left corner and I've got one two three etc carry on and of course what I will want to do in a later video is make it so when I've collected all the coins something happens we'll work on that later